Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. All right, guys, welcome back. There's three metrics here that I want to go over. Three important metrics, in my opinion. I want to look at Bitcoin dominance. Also want to look at Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And I want to look at the altcoin market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. So they call this total three. Total two is just the crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin. So those are the three metrics that I want to look at for the sake of this video. Now, I these are all long-term trends, and I'm not suggesting that just because any one of these metrics are at a certain point, that it means that XYZ is going to happen. I just think it's important to know where these different metrics are at any given point within a market cycle. Okay, so first, I want to start with uh, Bitcoin dominance. So there's some good news and some bad news, <laughs> I mean, depending on who you are. Uh, and how you're positioned. Okay, so this goes back. So let's just go all the way back to about mid 2019. So this is a very, it's a long term trend. All right. So it's been in this channel for roughly, you know, two or three years, uh, roughly two years, it looks like. And as you can see, this is the, the weekly here. Every time the weekly RSI gets up over this level or close to this general level, which is 70, um, it starts to have a push down. Now, that, that's the good news. The bad news is, is it looks like that the weekly RSI broke out here. If you can see this descending trend that the, RS, the weekly RSI was on, and it does look like it kind of broke out here. Um, so I, I guess we'll see on this. You know, I mean, obviously, Bitcoin can shoot up over this level here. There are some other metrics that may make that a less probable scenario, which I'm going to go over here in a second. And the first one is the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart. And, you know, I might have not drawn this right, guys. Again, I'm not like a super, you know, huge into TA type person. Um, so just be aware of that when you're looking at this. Um, I, I just focus on big, long-term structural patterns uh, to kind of gauge where we are and where the next macro move might be coming. So this is the Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And as you can see, we've been holding this uh, ascending trend line for all the way back. This goes back to mid 2019, all right? And the start of this is peaked uh, back in mid 2017. So that's how long it's been. And as you can see, Ethereum is sitting right here, all right? So, you know, we'll see what happens here. But, you know, we, it looks like the RSI bottom, this is uh, the weekly bottomed way back here. So it, it should hit some support level here at some point in time. And you can see it's sitting right on this trend line now. Um, so, you know, if we do see, we could see a breakdown here if Bitcoin dominance continues to push up here. Um, but I mean, I, I think that actually, I don't even care to give a projection on this, guys. Just know where these metrics are and things will play out however they're going to play out. OK, OK. Um, now, keep in mind, Bitcoin and Ethereum have both broken out of their macro downtrends, those, those downtrend lines that we were looking at. Um, so have many alts. And there's a lot of confluence with what's happening right now and previous bottoming periods. Um, so this is where the Ethereum Bitcoin chart is. If you do start to see Ethereum gaining ground on Bitcoin over the next few weeks, um, I, I would imagine that's because this thing is pushing back up here. All right. Um, so ideally, what we would want to see is we would want to see this thing push back up here and ultimately break out. But this trend is coming to an end one way or the other. Um, I mean, any really way that you want to draw this, this trend is coming to an end. Um, even if you just want to draw it right here and just look at this as kind of like a like an ascending triangle or something over the last couple of years, um, th this will come to an end at some point uh, in the upcoming months or sometime in 2023. Now, the total three, the crypto market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. So as you can see, we're right here. We're pressing up against this now. Um, and you can see that this is the this is the weekly. You can see RSI broke out. It was in this downtrend and broke out. And you know, again, guys, just because there's breakouts, I mean, look, this was back during 2020, uh, during the pandemic. We broke out, had a big move higher here. And then we started to come down, push back up, and then we had the big crash with the pandemic, and then we really went on a big run. But just for perspective here, so this is, again, the, the crypto market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. It doubled from the point to where it bottomed until where it broke out. 
but from the point of breakout, this is around 40 billion. Okay, this is around a $40 billion market cap here at the time of breakout. It's around 20 billion down here. But it runs up all the way to 1 trillion. Okay, so that's from the point of breakout, you're talking about a 25x in the crypto market cap this previous cycle. So just under, and really, a, was it a 50x from the bottom to the top? of the entire crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, it did a 50X from the bottom to the top here, all right? So just be aware of that. Understand that at least on this metric, we are, you know, the crypto market cap, we are approaching this resistance level. Um, Bitcoin's already broken out, Ethereum's already broken out, and many other blue chip alts. We just saw XRP break out of the two year structure that it was in, and many others have broken out as well. A lot of them, have broken out, pulled back significantly, and now they're just consolidating. And that's where a lot of them are right now. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I just thought that these, it was important to know where these metrics are just because they're at pretty key levels um, across these different metrics. So um, I, I have no real projections on how this will play out. I just think it's important to know where these things are. That's all I have for this video. Not financial advice. Make do your own research. Make your own decisions. I just wanted to show you these, uh, show you these different charts. Take care. Have a good day. I will see you in the next video.